this production of your of your script, as we'll as we'll call it, is relatively technically involving. There's voice mo- cons- consistent voice modulation. There's many characters that are played by two bodies. Mm. Uh, how do you imagine a version of it, or, or what is what what is interesting to you about a version that is perhaps more analog or or, or stripped back? What's the provocation, I suppose, or the joy of a work that is not this production? Well, like sky's the limit, mm-hmm. I guess, isn't it? Like I would love to see, you know, as we were saying just before, if someone saw it because they were like, this has got a big cast, there's one relationship in particular where I'd be like, I'd love to see how a, you know, cast of where you've got one actor playing each individual character, I'd love to see what theme or what idea that kicks up for the person who reads the play and is like, I want to do it because for me it's about X Mm. and for someone else it's about Y. Like that's kind of the beauty of the written script away from this production is that it's completely open to interpretation. I don't have much experience with people because all the shows that I've made in the past, if I've, if I've, if there's a new cast, it's because I've trained them and Mm. I've like become the director of that. And so the show has remained largely the same version with, you know, maybe a different, you know, different bodies in there. But, um, so I'm pretty interested in, ah, uh, yeah, uh, in 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 what happened. Like for me, it'll be a, a completely different show because for for me, usually when I make theatre, the 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 script is such a small part of the overall experience for the audience um, in terms of the um, you know the the, the internal na- monologue and narrative that they have during the the thing. All the other elements are so much part of there, which aren't necessarily documented as such so I'm pretty fascinated by by what happens when you when you pass on you know this element and then there's a whole other level of interpretive artistry that that happens to remix that and explore that and pull that apart in different ways and see see if it does work maybe maybe it maybe you know it, it might it might highlight what was um at the moment, so bonded to the text, but when you pull those things mm. out, you might go, "Oh, that highlights like exactly. that that doesn't work, or yeah. that actually is the essence of this, and it works in a completely and that's the way it that well not the way it should be done, but it really works, you know, like a like a really inventive cover of a song where you mm. all of a sudden hear words in a different way and or it's sung by a different gender or you, and and you're like, "Oh, this takes on a completely different narrative." when it's sung from this point of view or just the tweaking of lines here and there. And I've never got to be part of that. Um, I've never even really, yeah, got to sit outside and watch someone else have an interpretation of something that I've been a part of. So I, I'll be front row. 